in your early days as a musician, mm -hmm. hugely successful. Um, so what made you an Arsenal fan? Because I don't get the connection. <laughs> Joy, really exciting time for you it at the is. minute. Uh, new album's going to be out on Friday, mm -hmm. and you've got a new single which you're going to be performing for us later on, which we all can't wait for. Mm -hmm. Where did it all start for you with, with, with music? I think I definitely stumbled into music. Um, I never had like that realization that, oh, I'm going to become a musician. Like, even to, at this point, I'm still kind of like, feels like I'm blagging it a tiny bit. I don't think you're blagging it. Okay. Let's well, be that's, honest. That's really <laughs> so, so how, how old were you when that kind of the, the journey started for you? When was it? Uh, I started writing music when I was 12. But no, I think really I'd say that I started music when I was 18 and I released an EP. Okay. And, uh, and we made it all in my living room. Shoulder to shoulder, smile with the bricks then shine. But you ain't that kind when you are mine, JD and Cole. With you, what's fascinating is some artists can do Radio 1 and 1 Extra. Very few artists can do Asian Network, 1 Extra and Radio 1. And I think that's the best thing about you. You seem to reach all audiences, you know. That's got to be a pretty cool feeling to be able to reach everyone, right? It is. So when I did my last headline show before the pandemic, we did Earth in Hackney. I'm not bragging at all, but it was the most diverse gig I've ever been to in my life. Wow. I had two hijabi girls in front of me, then a lesbian couple. Then I had all these Caribbean aunties on the le my left-hand side. <laughs> then like a bunch of lads on the right-hand side. <laughs> like it was just the most diverse mm. gig I'd ever been to. And it was my own. And it just, it's the best feeling in the whole world. You're from South London. I think okay. the whole culture of people that come from South London is very vast. I mean, from a footballing point of view, we hear a lot of stories about young players growing up playing cage football. That was their level of escapism. I mean, I even played like cage football. I'm not very well, but my dad would make me kick a ball about in a cage. How important, basically, is South London being to, to you? I think it just like makes you a woman, in my opinion. Like, no matter how well I'm doing, no matter how badly I'm doing, mm. I'm always going to get cussed when I leave the station. And I love that. <laughs> like, and that does something to you as a human being. It's like, you're constantly grounded. In your early days as a musician, mm -hmm. hugely successful. Um, so what made you an Arsenal fan? Because I don't get the connection. <laughs> <laughs> um, it keeps me grounded. <laughs> uh, what got me into Arsenal? My dad and my godfather, mainly my dad in the beginning, he used to take me to Highbury. What was the era that you used to kind of go and watch? The kind of like Giroud, Ozil oh, right, yeah. era. Chain was Alexis Chain. Sanchez there as well? Sanchez. Yeah. Yes, I liked him. Good team, good yeah. team. Couple of FA Cups. Good, good team. They were a very good team. Good team. <laughs> I tried. Arsenal fans, I tried. So I used to be really into football, right? Yeah. And my friend had season tickets and I had to stop going to matches because all the people that would sit around her, I think they complained about me because <laughs> I've got a very foul mouth when I watch football. <laughs> <laughs> that was you abusing me when I was on the pitch yeah. as a youngster, was it? <laughs> yeah. no, I just have a foul mouth and also, like, it's very easy to have a foul mouth when... You're at a football match. No, yes, but when you support Arsenal. <laughs> 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 Who's your team? I know he played for. Wow, I'm, we've never asked this before. Who do you actually support? It's it's Nottingham it's... Forest. It, 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 <laughs> I don't know if it counts. 100%. It is Forest, yeah. It, really? Forest. And why do you know that? Is it actually? Yeah. I just made that up. It's Nottingham Forest, but why would but you But it's because that? I used what? to wear a Nottingham Forest tracksuit top because they actually had fire fits, but I didn't know it was a Nottingham Forest <laughs> tracksuit top. And then like the like local caretaker in my area was like, why are you wearing Forest? <laughs> that is, that is what, that, And, and wow. he was like, are you into relegated teams? And I was like, uh, I don't know. That's <laughs> mad. <laughs> They're terrible, basically, and still are I know, terrible. but that's why I said Nottingham <laughs> <Yeah>. Forest. <laughs> Which is why we don't talk about it on this show, because oh, no. this is chance to grill me back. I'm not actually a football therapist. <laughs> <laughs> so what, what's happened here, fellas, is yeah. you've, you feel quite naked at the moment. I do, you've gone right through me. We all know about like... the forest. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's no judgement here. This can is you, a safe space. Can you be space. here every week? Yeah. You don't even have to try. But you ain't that guy when you were mine.